This is the Pulp and Peel by JHS pedals. They call it a truly transparent compressor. Let's check it out. <laughs> Hi lovely people of the internet, welcome to Base the World. My name is Gregor Fries and today I'm once again accompanied by my buddy René Flexenbeard on bass. JHS is a pedal manufacturer from Kansas, but they're also running the best pedal channel on YouTube. I don't feel intimidated by making a video about them at all. Not a bit. If you haven't come across this channel yet, I don't know how that would be possible, but if that's the case, I highly recommend to check it out after watching this video. Josh, the company founder and main character there, rarely ever talks about his own pedals. He's more of a collector or a curator or a pedal historian and preserver. But now let's finally get started with the pulp and peel. <laughs> Before we get into the sound and the functions, first of all, how cool does this look and how cool is of course also the name. This compressor is based on the Dan Armstrong orange squeeze and since we have many international reviewers and some of you might not get the joke, pulp and peel are what's left if you squeeze the juice out of an orange, which I think is just a really cool analogy to describe what a compressor does. Not to be confused with key and peel because that's what's left if you, I don't know, press like a door lock real hard. So, controls. We have a comp which sets the amount of compression. Volume is of course your master volume. Blend mixes the compressed signal with your original tone to recover some dynamics and nuances. And finally we have a one knob EQ which cuts or boosts high end. But it's also important to mention what's not here. There's no attack control and there's no release control. These are actually fixed settings in this pedal and I personally I like this a lot because it makes working with compressors a lot easier. And we also don't really want to have two more controls up here if you're really honest. And now let's see a really nice uh, heavily compressed pick bass sound. <laughs> Compressor demos like this are always a little bit difficult to make. If I would set up the pedals in the way how I actually use them, the effect would be rather subtle and at least half of you would complain that you don't really hear a difference because it's just hard to notice what the difference is if you don't know what to specifically listen for. That's why in this demos I intentionally dial in too much compression to make it obvious. Back to the pedal. On the side we have next to our regular in and outputs also a DI out. I don't fully understand why, but on the other hand we should be thankful for every pedal that has one. The pulp appeal can totally be used as a bass preamp. We have volume, we have basic EQ and we have compression. So maybe that's why. They might have done this for us bass players, even though this isn't a dedicated bass pedal. D cool and uh, thanks. Sound-wise, this is one of the juicier compressors. It's transparent, absolutely, but it's not exactly subtle. Unless, of course, you leave comp and blend way below the 12 o'clock positions. It sounds fat and beautiful, it adds saturation and sustain and works for everything that basses usually do with compressors. But there's even more. There's also a dirt switch to add some drive. <laughs> of dirt can even be controlled. Very lovely. This is not just a really good pedal, it also has a lot of character and I love that. So very well done Josh and team. And if you want to check it out, there are links to different dealers uh, in Europe, also in the US, in the video description. So And if you buy something through these links, we get a little kickback and it's just a very easy way to support us without spending a dime out of your own pocket. So yeah, the Purple Peel version 4.5, by the way. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Check out our merch. 
Subscribe to our channel, please like this video, go over to JHS now because that's something that you really need in your life. If you like pedals, you need this channel, believe me. Otherwise, see you next uh, week, I guess. Bye-bye.